Hey there, I'm Ashley. Welcome to Createful Art. This is a place where you can learn to paint and get creative. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it. I am traveling all over the US and right now I am in Washington and we're gonna visit Seattle and I thought it would be really awesome to paint this Seattle scene. So I'm gonna show you how I paint it today. So some really cool changes are happening to Createful Art. If you haven't checked out my Instagram, it's at Createful Art is my handle. And you can share your art with me with hashtag Grateful Art and I'll ask you permission and post your guys' artwork on my page here because I think you guys need to be recognized for it. We want you guys to be a part of the community that I have here on YouTube, okay? So YouTube is where I have all my lessons. It's easy for me to share with you. You can go up here and you can just click on my community and when you go there you can see all the things that I'm sharing. And you can ask questions on here, whatever you want to do. I do put polls on here um, to ask you guys what you guys want me to paint or show you how to paint, what are lessons that you want. Um, be sure when you have gone to my page that you have hit the subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button. That bell is all about getting notifications. So whenever I post in community, unless you've hit that bell, you won't get notified whether I posted something on here. Okay, go ahead and make sure that you've hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you get notified whenever I make new videos and share more content. So another exciting thing that I'm going to be trying with you guys is having a set palette of probably five or six colors that we're going to use for our paintings for the week. So you're going to start noticing that my paintings have a color scheme and what I really want you guys to do with this is be creative with it. So whatever you want to change as you're painting with me, go ahead. So let's get started. So for this first step, I'm going to lay out my composition. I'm going to do that with my yellow here. I am just going to draw a straight line across. This is the horizon line. And then right over here, there is a curve to where the city comes in and about right through here it comes out and then it's kind of just a slanted line through here of all sorts of buildings and things like that okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this in and you'll notice that my paint is much thicker this time okay that is because I have added in this flexible molding paste it doesn't really change the colors of your paint it just creates more body for the paint and this one's a flexible one which means that um, it's not gonna crack or anything it makes your paints dry a little bit more slowly and it is also water resistant just like your acrylic paints when it is dry Okay, and the main reason for this is it's to build heavy textures. And some of you have talked to me about um, liking oil paints and wanting your acrylics to work more like oil paints. And if you are like that, um, go ahead and grab some of this. It's truly wonderful. You know, it's very similar to your um, oils and the fact that it keeps its shape so you can see that it's going to keep that texture there. And I've been missing my texture. And I've decided, you know, a lot of my paint and stuff, and my paintings, I need to paint them not only for you guys, but for myself and what I want and truly what, like, inspires me to paint. And so that's why I'm painting the scenes as I travel around and I'm giving myself, you know, this limited palette of the colors that it, I really want to focus on for the season. And I'm getting back out my palette knife and you know I wish I could do oils some more but that just doesn't work with my traveling and I wish I could do bigger paintings but that just doesn't work while I'm traveling and so you know you, you have to make compromises and I'm okay with compromising and you know painting is therapy it is it can be very therapeutic but if you end up um, painting for other people all the time just to make other people happy you end up kind of resenting having to paint or resenting the people you're painting for and I don't know if you've ever felt that way but it's obviously not the other people's fault for you know just like following along and wanting to see you paint you just have to remember that you have the freedom to paint what it is you want and as an artist you it's your expression how you want to paint is up to you 
Don't ever let anybody dictate, you know, who you are and your expression in your paintings. So I just added a little bit of white to my painting and I'm going to be adding white and black to all of my color scheme um, just because that does darken and lighten my colors and you need to have that contrast. So I'm just um, grabbing a little bit of my yellow and adding that to the top here. So I'm using a palette knife but you can use a brush or anything that you wish to use giving this a jagged edge because the buildings and stuff go in to these spots here and it's not completely straight across so I'm just finding the shapes now I'm going to take my light blue and I'm going to add a transition over here between the blue and the yellow And you can see that it goes on top, but it, the more that I'm going to touch it, the more that it will mix with the other color. And if you don't want it to mix, just go ahead and let this dry with your blow dryer or whatever. And then it won't mix as much. And I'm just laying it right on top so it doesn't mix anyways. Okay, now I'm ready for this blue. I'm just going to add this blue of the sky right through here and I will um, grab my brush every once in a while and just spread the color because I want it to spread underneath it so I don't want the white showing so I just gotta spread that to grab that texture that I want and I'm just gonna pull some of this across Okay, and then this red, I'm just going to come in here so slightly and just add a little bit of the red just at the top here. There's some dogs going crazy out there. And then I'm just checking to see if I have any canvas showing. And where I have canvas showing, I'm just going across it. Okay. There's a blue line right here. So I'm going to add that blue line. And it reaches over here. And I'm going to take some of my red, add that to the blue. And go across. This is the beauty of being in RVs. And traveling the country. Sometimes you're next to dogs. <laughs> I like to bark at each other. Okay. Now I'm going to take that light blue and I'm going to add in the light blue color. So this color. I'm going to add it in here and then I'll bring in some texture with um, my palette knife after. This blue sky right here, just gonna bring it over. Got that blue and that blue up here. And there's really not a lot of light blue in here, but there's some. So I'm gonna add it in there. Okay. So mostly through here is the dark blue, and it just comes in and has some texture in here. So just gonna, gonna let it wrap around there. And then this piece comes out through here. I'm gonna add a little red to that. Like that. Okay. And then this is how that you use the side of your palette knife. You can dip it in your paint and then just create it like a line right through here. You have to make sure that where you put it is where you want your line. And then it just kind of runs out. So so I filled this in with blue. Okay, so now I'm going to start adding in the buildings. I'm going to be using a combination of black and a combination of red to get the shapes that I want. And then I'm just using my flat or, you know, flat brush on the top and just marking out that location lines on it at the angles that I see it and then I will 
fill it in. Goes in like this, and this is, you know, has a lot to do with drawing. I'm just basically drawing with my paintbrush instead of a pencil. And it doesn't have to be exactly correct. That's the beauty of, of painting. So I'm just using my reference photo and I'm filling in the buildings. I'm looking at the basic shapes. What really makes buildings look like buildings is random shapes. Um, geometrical shapes. You come in with several colors topping the the tops on here and pulling down you're gonna get the look of buildings. So I put some detail into my buildings here because they just look like blobs. You can get as detailed as you want um, and all personal preference. Something I like to do is put metallic paint um, for a shimmer over some of the areas of my painting. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And when the light shines on it, you can really see it glow. Then I go ahead and I sign my work. Okay, this is my finished art piece. This will be over on my Instagram and my website for sale. And you can see with the flexible molding placed, you can see the texture. A lot of texture on here depending on where the light is shining. And then you see that metallic paint right there where it's really shiny. I just want to let you guys know that I really appreciate you watching my channel, hitting that like button, and leaving me your sweet comments. It really makes a difference. I also want to give a shout out to my Create For Art members who help make these videos possible. They support me over on Patreon.com and for their support I give them art lessons, reference photos, and a lot of other fun things from me. If you want to become a member, go ahead and click right over here. And if you want to watch more videos and learn how to paint even more, go ahead and click right over here and I will see you really soon.